Hi, welcome. My name is Steve Baker. I'm a data center networking TME here at Aruba. And this video is part four in a quick start series of videos intended to introduce new users to the CX switching line. In this video, I'm going to cover this Aruba CX 6300 switch series. When we're looking at the Aruba CX switching portfolio, we actually have a portfolio that stretches from end to end in a customer's environment, from the enterprise to the campus to the data center. We have, as we can see here, the CX8400, which is the large, highly available carrier class style switch, which is available in core, large core environments and data center environments. We also have the 6400 switch series, which is a PoE enabled switch. So it's targeted for aggregation at campuses, but also it could live in the data center too. And of course, on the bottom at the access layer, we have our CX8300 top of rack series for the data centers and our CX6300 series, which are targeted for campus access and aggregation, as well as out of band networks within data centers. But all of these switches that you see here from end to end, all operate with one operating system, one ASIC architecture and one operating model. Taking a closer look at the Aruba CX6300 switch series, these really are a series of switches that are designed to be flexible to provide our customers with the interfaces and the requirements that they need for that scenario. We actually have seven modular switches and four fixed switches. So it's a series of 11 total switches, some PoE switches, some not PoE. We have high, performing switch, high performance switching, which can scale to up to 880 gigabits per system up towards of 660 million packets per second of the system throughput and upwards of 200 gigabits of stacking bandwidth. These switches have one and 10 gig options as well as 25 and 50 gig uplink options for scale and investment protection. All of these switches support Aruba VSF stacking which provides that flexibility to help us mix these modular and fixed modules into a single stack. And we have some smart rate models, which are designed for Wi-Fi 6, which will get, get us interfaces that operate at multi-gigabit speed. So 1 gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, and 5 gigabit, all supporting high power class 6 at 60 watts. And each of the switches all have four built-in 50 gig SFP ports, which support 1 gig, 10 gig, 25 gig, and 50 gig. Looking a little bit closer at the switches, so these are the 6300F series. Either, these are our fixed series. This means that the power supply and the fan tray is fixed in these switches. As you can see here, we have a 48 port model and a 24 port base T model, all one gig. And we have a PoE version and a non-PoE version of each. So on the left, we can see the PoE versions, which are able to support up to class four PoE. And of course, the right has the non-PoE versions. All the switches have the four SFP56 uplink ports on them also. Now when we go into the modular switches, these are where we actually have seven modular switches. And you can see we have a number of PoE options on the left and a number of non-PoE options on the right. So on the upper right, we can see a 24 port 10 gig SFP plus model, which is largely seen in campus aggregation environments. And below that, we have a 48 port 1 gig and a 24 port 1 gig model. These are non-PoE models, but remember all the switches on this screen are also the modular ones. So they, these are the ones that support the redundant fans and the, and the power supplies in the back. And then on the left, we have the PoE model. So we have two 48 port model PoE switches and two 24 port model PoE switches. The switch on the top actually supports smart rate with upwards of class 6 PoE. And the 48 port switch in the middle is the uh, class 4 PoE switch. And same thing for the 24 port. We have a smart rate option for the 24 port that supports class 6 PoE and a 24 port version that supports class 4 PoE. So you can really mix and match the switch to meet the needs of the environment. So here we have a zoomed in look at the front face of the 6300F and M series switches. So we can see in the upper right, we have the system LEDs and the reset button. We have all the switches have the four 50 gig SFP56 uplinks, and they all have a USB type C serial console port. So take note that there's no RJ45 serial console port. There's a mode button here 
as well as RJ45 out-of-band management ports, and a USB Type-A port, which is used for file management with Aruba accessories. And finally, we have the luggage tag, which is really handy once the switch is racked. You can easily pull out this luggage tag and get the information for the switches. And of course, on the switch itself, you can see the front-facing ports, 1 through 48 in this model. Zooming into the rear of the switches, so this is the rear of the 6300 FIC switches, so you can see the fan trays are built into the switch and the power supply is built into the switch. We're looking actually at a C16 power socket here, so this is one of the PoE models of the 6300Fs. Now taking a look at the rear of the Aruba CX6300 modular switch, we can easily see that this is the switch that supports the redundant fan trays and the redundant power supplies. We can see the fan trays are located on the left with the fan tray LED, and then the power supplies are located on the right with the power supply LED. Now the power supplies, depending on how which one you choose, will use either a C14 socket for the non-PoE or a C16 socket for the PoE versions, and that's the one we're looking at now. And looking at the fan trays, so the modular switches have two fan trays that provide front-to-back airflow across the chassis. These are field-replaceable, hot-swappable fan trays, and each of the fan trays actually have two fans in each one. And the second fan tray helps provide redundancy for a single fan failure. And you'll note you can see actually the status LED on the back of the fan tray, the uh, UID LED. We can also see the fans as well as the inlets for the fans, and then you can see the T10 screws to actually lock the fan into place. Now take note of the 6300M models. There are two models that require two fan trays. They, they all come with two fan trays pre-populated, and both these fan trays are actually required on these models. So if one fan tray does fail, the switch will stay operating for about three minutes before the switch shuts down. So take note of that. Now when we're looking at the power supplies, we have a number of options for power supplies on the 6300 series. So these power supplies provide hot swappable redundant power in, in the case of a, a single power supply failure. It's strictly recommended that we use the same wattage power supplies for redundancy and power sharing. And the modular power 6300 support four power supplies. The first one is the non-POE version. So this is a 250 watt power supply. It does, obviously doesn't provide PoE, and it's keyed so that the it will not fit into the slots of a PoE switch. And then the bottom three power supplies are the three options for power supplies, and which one is chosen will depend on how much PoE power the actual environment requires. So we have one that offers 370 watts of PoE power, another one that's able to support up to 740 watts of PoE power, and then finally, another one supports 1440 watts of PoE power. And all of them are keyed also, so of course these power supplies will not fit into the power supply slot of a non-PoE switch. And looking at the power supply, we can see the serial number label on the top. We can see the status LEDs are shown on the back, as well as the pull handle and the fan, as well as the release latch. And of course, this is a C14 socket power supply that we're looking at. So this is one of the non-PoE versions. Now all the CX6300 series switches support Aruba Virtual Switching Framework. So this is, we call it VSF, this is our front plane stacking solution. So this is really helpful providing simplified management for a stack of upwards of 10 6300s. And the 6300s could be either 6300 modular or 6300 fixed. They can all fit within the same stack. And these are front plane stacking environments, so you can use your high speed links and of course, since you can use high-speed links, you're actually able to use long-speed links too. So you can go across a campus in this environment. And finally, high performance delivered consistently at the access layer is even more important than ever now, now that we have Wi-Fi 6 and all these IoT devices. So being able to scale and provide the PoE and the multi-gigabit speeds required at the various access layer environments is very critical, and the 6300 switch series is able to help provide that for our customers. 
So that was a quick introduction to the Aruba CX6300 Switch Series. Uh, keep an eye out to the YouHoops YouTube Airheads broadcasting channel for additional quick start videos to provide more detailed information about the CX Switch Series as well as the operating system. Thank you.